Hey everybody, Brett from Astartes Gaming here, back with the next episode in our Battle Brothers Early Access Let's Play. In the last episode, we had just come out of a battle where we lost one of our major party members, and then on our way to our next destination, we got jumped by a rather large band of bandits, and we won. It went fairly well, but we did lose three more guys, so we're down to eight members again, which is... I think what we started with, we started with seven or eight. We are, we're obviously better equipped than when we started, but we're definitely going to need to pick up some guys to round out our roster. And so, without wasting too much time, because that battle did waylay us pretty bad, I'm going to go ahead and unpause and we're going to start heading to Rauthal. And it looks like there's another. Oh, we are done. We are so done. I don't know if you guys saw. I guess you can kind of see it through this right here. This is a basically what we faced before, but it's ranked dangerous. And so... Yeah, we don't have a chance. I mean, we'll, we'll do our best. But I don't know how we're going to survive this one. Yeah, they've got the high ground. There is really no way we can do this. Our guys are still bloodied up. I'm going to start falling back to this terrain here. They don't look like they're extremely well equipped, but they could be. I don't know. We definitely need to get some better territory than this flatland, though. And we might be in trouble. If they can close to... Uh, melee distance here. We'll be in big trouble. He's still got his sword out. I keep forgetting to switch him. So he's got full mail armor. Yeah, let's keep moving back. Definitely want to grab this high ground if we can. 8 to 14. I'm trying to keep an eye on these portraits. None of them look like they have that great of armor. But it's still, they outnumber us almost 2 to 1. Well, I guess we'll see how it goes. We were doing pretty well there for a while. The game definitely ramped up in difficulty pretty quickly. But this game is supposed to be unforgiving, and especially in early access, I don't know that there's really any end game to get to. So without having giant bandit armies to crush, crush your mercenary company, I don't know what you would do. This guy still doesn't have a weapon, unfortunately, and I haven't had time to equip one. Every time we get out of battle, we get attacked again. So we're just going to have to make do with uh, one unarmed guy. I probably should put him in the middle or something so he can just sit there with his shield. But he's on death's door, basically. Okay, so, I mean, this is going to be the Alamo right here, I guess. Yeah, just hang out there. Nobody in range, so we'll wait. Let them come to us. Let's get his bow and arrow out. We'll just pass all these turns. And, yeah, they're not going to move. Yeah, they're actually not very well equipped. Had we not taken on that battle prior to this one, I think we could win this one fairly easily, actually. But because we lost so many guys and have so many guys that are wounded, I don't know 
how we're going to do this. Yeah, we'll just keep passing our turn and letting them come to us. That's really all we can do. Um, we'll take a shot. I should probably save my ammo. Oh, wow. Okay. That even the odds a little bit. There's another guy in full mail. Uh, I'm going to save Fatigue. You are so beat up. You have five health left. I mean, five health is bad enough, but the fact that he's got like four armor on top of it, it just doesn't bode well for us. We'll just keep shooting this guy. And here comes another raider. The see, I mean, their equipment's not great. But the fact that they have us outnumbered so badly, I really don't know what else we can do. He's going to try to flank us. I'm not really sure what I can do about it. I may have to step him back or something. Hmm. This puts me in a difficult spot here. I'm really not sure how to swap. I can retreat. I don't know what good that's going to do me. I think I believe to retreat you have to be on the edge of the map, and I don't know how close we are. These maps are deceptively big. Actually, that's the edge right there. Although they could just run us down again. Um. Yeah, we'll just fight this out. If we lose, we lose, and we'll start another party up. No big deal. I do need to find a way to intercept him, though. I'm probably just going to have to move this guy out of the way. And let's see. Huh, I really don't want him having to take them on. I think what I'll do is I'll move him to here. And this guy can hop over there. And I'll have him fall in there. Actually, yeah, what the hell. They're not playing very aggressively. I suppose they don't need to with the numbers they have. But if they surrounded us, there's really not much we could do about it. Yikes. Take 67. He doesn't have a shield either. 72. Yeah, let's go for it. If we could snipe him before he flanks us, that would be pretty awesome. 91. There we go. Now, yeah, I don't want to go down there and meet them. Because that defeats the whole purpose of taking the high ground. So, we'll just get our shields up and hope for the best. I doubt they'll attack him. I get the feeling he's probably going to try to... I'm actually going to do this. I'm going to move him to there. These guys should be able to hold this line. Oh, he beat us to it. Yeah, I just don't have enough guys to protect both flanks. There's really no way I can completely protect these archers. Interesting. Uh, 46... 52. I think he's going to be the most dangerous with that hammer. Oh, well. That works too, I suppose. <laughs> so does that. There we go. 
And I'll have him get his spear out. Let's go shield wall and have him attack behind there. That guy's not too well armored, so... As long as we avoid having somebody get killed over here, we should be able to snipe this guy. I'm going to move this guy here to protect the archers. And then take a whack at him. Yeah, this isn't looking good for us at all. He's like one hit from death. And now he's one hit from death. And we couldn't even get a spear attack there. 14. We'll keep shooting at these guys then. Actually, let's take this one. He's pretty... Oh, that keeps happening. He's really lightly armored. So if we can get rid of him, that would be... Probably the best thing for us. He's almost dead. <clears throat> and we'll just keep putting our shield up. He doesn't have a weapon. There's nothing I can do about it. So. I mean, we'll just have to make do with somebody who can't attack. Yeah. I'm going to have to play defensively. I don't know what else I can do. Um, at least they're going to start getting forced to engage us from the low ground. There's another miss. Not sure why he did that. Okay, he's going to try to come around the back. Whew. Okay, he's dead. <laughs> so now I'm in a real pickle because he can just step up and this guy becomes worthless as an archer. So there's a kill. Let's go for you, I guess. Oh, I was hoping we'd get another kill there. And let's punch this guy. <laughs> No luck there. So you're kind of worthless in that spot now. Oh, great. Hmm. That wasn't ideal at all. If I put his shield up, he won't be able to attack. So let's just take two attacks. We're probably going down anyway, so we may as well take a bunch of them with us. What happened there? Oh, he died. Yeah, I think this is it for us. He's dead, so we're down to four. We still have... Nope. Spoke too soon there. hit and he's gone. Okay, he just shield bashed me out of the way. Okay, now we're definitely done for. Oh, he didn't deserve that. Oh, we almost got a kill there. Damn. Would have liked to take at least one more with us.
if he could survive till his turn and punch this guy out, that would be awesome. Oh. Well, there it is. We lost our whole party again, so let me check out the time. And yeah, we've still got about 10 minutes, so let's go ahead and start another campaign here. We'll go with the same name, The Watchers, and the same banner. Where'd it go? There it is. Blah, blah, blah. Let's go ahead and jump in. And so we'll check out these guys first. He's a rat catcher. Well, he's cheap and I need people. This guy's just named Wolf. Why not? Berengar. Who's a grave digger? Sure. Let's see the luck maker. Why not? He is a miner, and I'll probably take everybody but him. I might end up taking him though, since he's already fairly well equipped. Other than a shield, I mean, he's like ready to roll. So let's look at the market get the other guys equipped well enough and if we have enough money we'll come back and and um, grab him I'll take all the shields they have oh there's a leather armor huh I can't tell what that says 84 I think yeah I'll take it in that case we'll take these and the hat and we'll grab the hatchet and the spear and we'll grab the bludgeon as well since I really don't want to be handing out wooden sticks to people so let's let's take a look I think these guys pretty much just have rags oh wow Arn here is way decked out I'm gonna give him the hood maybe or how about this I don't know. I just, he's already really well equipped. Re bleh. God, I can't talk. <laughs> he's already really well equipped. I don't want to risk him dying. So I might give him this. And the other guys can just be filler. Let's see. Who can fire a bow? I actually don't have a bow, do I? 60 40, that's not bad. I think this guy's gonna have to be an archer just because he's the only one with archery higher than like 40. Yeah, it looks like you're gonna be an archer, bud. In that case, you will get that. And have a shield. Here, I'll give you one with red on it since your belt's red. How about you? Berengar is pretty good actually. Well, he's got good, good health and good attack anyways. So let's give him the Gambeson. And I'll give him a bludgeon I guess. And who is next? You're pretty good. You might end up being an art. No, you've got a lot of health. Let's see, I really don't have much else to give him. He's got good defense. Maybe I'll give him the spear. And then, who else am I going to equip? He's got a lot of health. The rest of these guys, not so much. Huh.
Let's see, you're pretty terrible at everything, but you've got a lot of health. So I guess I'll give you this. And... At least get you somewhat equipped. The rest of these guys I really don't have... much to work with. I mean, I'll give you a buckler and I think the dagger is slightly better than the knife. And I suppose I'll need a bow. Be nice if they gave you a bow to start with. I mean, it's obviously pretty important. We'll take some arrows. Uh, I may as well grab like they're 25 each. What the hell? I'll take all that. And then we'll sell the club. And we'll sell these. And that'll put us at 200 at least. Whoops. So you're going to be an archer. You're going to stick with what you've got there. I'd like to give... use something slightly better and I'll give you the hood actually I'll give the hood to somebody who doesn't have very good armor wolf has nothing uh, you might have to stay that way unfortunately is this the same as this no, that's slightly better. So I guess I'll give Wolf this with a knife and the hood. And that'll make up for him not having a shield. Can he dual wield? No. No, he can't. In that case, I'll give the archer a knife. And I'll sell these. Zero. That's kind of lame. And what the hell, we'll get rid of that. Okay, let me take a peek at the time. Um, we're right about where I'd like to be. So I'm going to go ahead and this should be the generic uh, beginner quest. So what, 300 crowns? I'll accept the quest and pause right here. I'll break the episode off right now. Next episode, we'll come deal with this, go back to the city, see if we can pick up any more gear. It didn't look like they had much left. Um, I do need to kind of check out this map. Every time you start a new game, the map is different, so we'll have to get acclimated to this one. The last map we had was actually a really good one. Um, but there's a couple cities within a fairly quick trip from here, so it shouldn't be too bad. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. I will see you back here for the next episode of Battle Brothers.